let's create a logo that has a curve on it using our beautiful and lovely Canva. Join me. At a time of recording this video, Canva doesn't have a pencil tool or those fancy tools that you can get with the Adobe Suite. There are workarounds that you can use to get the effect of that sleek curve on your logo and get your clients happy or if you're designing for yourself. You're going to open up your Canva and you're going to create a blank logo and you're going to start looking for graphics in Canva in order to achieve that curve that you're looking for. So the idea is when you're looking for those curvy shaped graphics, the one trick that I've learned so far that I thought I'd share was if you're looking for a house logo, for, for example, or home logo, you type home logo and you click on graphics so that Canva can give you all of the graphics that have that curve that you're looking for. They might give you more of the same of what you've selected with the magic recommendations. So you could just click where it says see all and you can view all sorts of curvy graphics that you can use with your designs. If you are looking for a car um, logo, you go car logo, and you again click on graphics and then you scroll down and you find the one that you like and then you use this as your curvy logo to go about creating stunning logos with your designs for yourself or your customers if you want to know more about the licensing issues of that particular logo and more information pertaining to that graphic that you've selected you just click on it once and you click on the eye and you go access this eye next to free for Canva Pro. If you've selected a free one, it would say free. You just click on the eye and then you are able to go through and read through about the licensing with regards to you using that graphic that you've selected. Most of the graphics you can go ahead and select. But if you have a customer that um, wants to eventually trademark or copyright their logo, it's very important to take note of the licensing around logos in whichever country that you're at. I've gone through and I found this article that I'm going to link on the description below. And this is for United States, but you can Google any country that you're at to find out everything that you need to know about trademarking a logo. It's very important to find out, especially when you're planning to trademark a logo and you're using the graphics around Canva. I've showed you how to search for them. The one last one that I want us to quickly do is that artificial bots logo. So if you found a graphic that you like, you just star it. For example, say we like this one and we click on the eye and we then select star, then Canva is going to put it in a star for us over there. Whenever you're looking for whatever graphic that you've saved under the start, it would, it would be saved there. So it's cool to save that. I want us to use this one for the artificial, just quickly to show you how I did that one. I just added text. So you press T to add text and then you change your text to whatever font you want. I use the Anton font for this one. And then before we add it on there, you're going to go back to your elements and you're going to delete the color logo and you're looking for lines and shapes. You click where it says see all. We're just looking for a basic clear box that we can use and there's your logo done and dusted all you do is you download it as a transparent if you don't have the pro version you can use the remove.bg or you can play around with my affiliate link for 30 days and see how you like Canva Pro 
Next, you're going to jump in on Photo P and just convert it using the mockup and you make the mockup look appealing for your customer. Once the mockup has loaded, you double click where it says placeholder, you hide the text, you drag the logo, you size it, you click on file, save as smart object, you click where it says PSD logo, and then it converts. You go file, export as PNG, and your logo is done and dusted. So I did do a little bit of a video explaining the licensing around Canva's graphics. I'm going to link it on the screen. You can go ahead and go watch that and find out more. And don't forget to go read the article about trademarking and copywriting on logos. I'll see you next time. Thank you for joining me. It's always a pleasure to have you in the channel. I'll see you next time.